Hey, this is Nick the Mining Book Guy, and today I'd like to talk about how geopolitics intersects with mining and some of my favorite books and authors uh, related to this. And to start, I think one of the few areas where I personally feel I have, I have an edge in the mining world, especially you know, when looking at the best mining stocks to pick, is uh, the geopolitical side of things. And that's where you're thinking about, you know, which countries are on the move, which ones are, are getting better or getting worse from a geopolitical aspect, because a lot of, you know, great people in the mining space, they just aren't trained in that. And, and even the ones that are or that talk about it, they don't have the same level of expertise as they do on, you know, the scientific, the geological side of things. That's, that's my opinion. But because of that, that's why it's so valuable to be able to read some of these books in the geopolitical space. And I'll just add, um, you know, to give you an idea, uh, a few areas I'm especially interested in. Uh, West Africa, as an example, very few people cover that. I've read um, a lot of specific books and you know, realize there's a lot of opportunities there. Uh, Turkey is an area where I think uh, has turned a lot, unfortunately, it seems to have gotten worse recently, but understanding the geopolitical side has helped me a look at that. And then in terms of a couple areas, huge potential opportunities further in the future would be Iran and Myanmar. You know, just thinking of countries that a lot of people would be scared of right now, but maybe a few years from now, who knows, might be the, the great opportunities because of that understanding of geopolitics that you can, you know, maybe speculate on them before someone else would consider to. To get into some of the books and authors, let's start with perhaps the most influential um, one, one that, if you're only going to pick up one, I'd recommend this. The Next Decade by George Friedman. And this is a special book to me because I was really angry the first time I read it. Uh, you know, I didn't want to believe some of the things I read or just, you know, didn't think they were backed up. It was written 2010, 2011. Incredibly, George Friedman has actually predicted many of the geopolitical events that have happened in the last five years. I, I read it again. I need to read it a third or, you know, fourth time. Uh, this is a book you need to read um, if you're, you're interested in the geopolitical side um, of mining or just geopolitics in general. Um, a good companion book, The Accidental Superpower by Peter Zion. I know that he worked with George Friedman, and so they have some overlap in their interests. There's some neat stuff in, um, in Peter Zion's book. He's kind of a rising star in the geopolitics space. So another good one to recommend. One that's much more mainstream, uh, Ian Bremmer. Uh, superpower, Three Choices for America's Role in the New World. I'm actually in the middle of this one right now. I know that Ian Bremmer has written a ton of books that I need to catch up on, but he's someone that fits in with those two previous authors, another one to check out. Now, one thing that's interesting that separates the next two, I think that there's a little more of, you know, figuring out how gold or maybe even mining fits into the space, which these previous authors didn't speak of. And so I, I think you, you absolutely have to um, you know, take that into consideration and, and try to, you know, get, get a balance of the geopolitical experts. This one I mentioned many times, Currency Wars by James Rickards. It's a must read. I, I think if there was one book in, uh, you know, that, that uh, intersects uh, gold and finance, geopolitics and all that. I always come back to Currency Wars. But one that few people are aware of but will become aware of soon is Signals, The Breakdown of the Social Contract and the Rise of Geopolitics by Dr. Philippa Malmgren. This one's really interesting. This is kind of a wild card, um, also known as, as Pippa Malmgren. I, uh, I don't know how I came across this, but uh, there, she, I know she's republishing this book, uh, and uh, there's, there's some neat stuff in there, uh, especially related to the, the social contract was in the subtitle. Uh, no one else I, that I've read has has come has really um, explained it so clearly, and I think that's that's one of the great things about her book is that she explains complex situations so clearly, and definitely from a unique perspective, and of course you know female perspective that adds some diversity. Unfortunately, I think every single one of these people is American. It would be nice to uh, get some more diversity, international diversity, in in that respect. Uh, but these are great books to start with. They've helped me understand, uh, you know, the intersection of geopolitics and mining. I think they're going to help me, you know, make money um, in a way where, you know, a few other people understand it right now, but a few years from now, this will become bigger in the mining space, and uh, they're just great reads on their own. So 
Hopefully uh, this interests you if you weren't previously interested in it, and I hope you, you know, take a look at the books. Feel free to email me at miningbookguy at gmail.com if you have any comments, questions. And again, this is Nick, the Mining Book Guy. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.